let's talk about WordPress security. Do you know that 76% of WordPress websites are vulnerable to hacking? And if a hacker got access to your website, he can do very unpleasant things to you and your visitors. Like, for example, he can steal your profits by replacing your affiliate links or by redirecting your traffic to somewhere else. He can also steal personal data from your visitors, like passwords, credit cards and stuff like that, by infecting their computers with malware software or inserting hidden landing pages for phishing. And even if your website do not have much traffic, that doesn't mean they won't attack you. Because for hackers, every site, server or anything connected to the internet is a useful resource. They are hacking websites in bulk with automated scripts because, well, 76% of WordPress websites don't do anything about their security. But don't worry, I'm the Lightbulb Guy and in today's video I will show you a few easy steps to protect your website from such attacks and make the hacking script quit and go to easier targets. So let's start with the tips. Number one, do not use admin as your username. By default, the username of a WordPress website is admin. That's why there are plenty of hacking scripts built for just that. If your website's username is admin, go to the dashboard, users and create a new username with strong enough password. Make it administrator and save the settings. Then log out of your website, log in again with your new username and delete the admin username. On this screen just click to attribute all posts to the new username you just created. Number 2. Limit login attempts. By default WordPress is allowing users unlimited attempts to log in. This is very good for hackers and very bad for you. To limit the login attempts, just go to add new plugins and search for WP limit login attempts. Just install and activate it, then go to settings WP limit login where you can set how many attempts are allowed. Number 3. Keep your website up to date. Update WordPress plugins and themes whenever there is an update. This is very important. You should keep everything up to date because there are resources for hackers where they can find the weak spots in old versions of WordPress, a particular theme or a particular plugin. So make sure everything is up to date. Number 4. Delete the readme.html this file is located in your WordPress directory and by default is a publicly visible file which gives the information about WordPress version, PHP version, MySQL version and other information that hackers use to find loopholes and hack into your website. So just go to your website's root directory and delete the readme file. Number 5. Backup Simply back up your website regularly. I personally am using the duplicator plugin. It is very simple to move any WordPress website anywhere you want. You can also check out my video on different plugins for backup and restore a WordPress website by clicking somewhere here. So pretty much doing these steps will make the common hacking scripts fail hacking your website. If you have friends running WordPress websites, share this video with them. They'll thank you and I will feel pretty thankful too. Also, find out the 5 common WordPress mistakes that make your website less profitable. You can check it out by clicking on the link below this video. There are also easy ways to fix these mistakes. Thank you for watching, please give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to the WP Lightbulb channel for more straight to the point WordPress tutorials.